Hi everyone, my name is Shaling. Um, nice to meet you here. Um, I'm the founder and CEO of Her Way Women's Blog Australia and today I'm on the online prosperity show with Prosper to share some of the insights of how I'm creating Her Way Women's Blog. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Charlene. Charlene, how are you doing, my love? Very good, Prosper. How are you? Fantastic. Now, ladies and gentlemen, obviously you would appreciate that every single day we bring in professionals or people that are actually really doing amazing in their own respects. And today, Charlene has her own way and she wants to spread love peace and happiness with a lot of people, especially women that are amazing within their own community. Now, Charlene started her own blog, which now has over 10,000 people following. Actually and 15. How much was that? 15. 15,000, that's a lot right there. Yes, and it's all those people that are following her, um, you know, listening to her message. And essentially, it's people that have walked through and have a light to share with other people within their community or people that are on a journey. So it's all the lessons that they have learned in their life and lessons that she also has learned, um, which are life changing to the point that she is distributing these with interviews on her own uh, podcast, I mean, uh, blog, blog that is called Hairway that now has a community of, like she has corrected me, over 15,000 people right there. So thank you so much for taking your time today there, Shalim. Tell us a little bit about how this actually started and what brought about um, the blog, Hairway. Sure. Um, well, I literally started the Hairway in July, right after the trip from Europe, because I always have this idea in my head to bring up these star- stories live from the people I've met in my life and some notes I've jotted down in my personal notebook. So one day when I was reading through my notebook and I noticed there are so many insightful, you know, little suggestions and kind words I've been receiving from people and especially women um, from my life. And um, I just started to have this vision that what would be, you know, beneficial for other people if they can learn something from other people's um, past stories, life experiences, and and so on. So I was, you know, thinking about how can I do this? Um, is that possible? Will people be happy to share their own stories, even some deeply emotional ones? How can I cast in the net for my audience? All sorts of things. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna start from one interview. <laughs> So, yeah, that's how I started. I turned around to my colleagues, um, shared ideas. Would you be happy to tell us something about you? And then I noticed the people actually working next to me every day. And I know so many strength, um, you know, wisdom and things I have not been discovered from even face-to-face interaction every day, which kind of blew my mind. So, and one thing I didn't tell you guys was kind of embarrassing. I had a bad reputation of winning the loser prize um, at the work, uh, what's called the um, end of year activity. True or false? True lies. So people say something about them and you think it's true or false. So at, at every term I win the loser prize. So I don't really know people actually working with me. So it's kind of putting me in a self-reflective path thinking, oh, wow, I see these people every day, but how much actually I know them and what kind of been an invisible barrier that stopped me from knowing the people literally right next to me. So actually starting this blog from work. So I interview one person and another person and another person. And that helped me spread it around. And their parents, um, their, their family see it. They kind of jump in and do an interview with us too. So, yeah, that's how the building from one, two, three, and so on. Understandable. Well, thank you so much. Because at the end of the day, Charlene, I don't know if you're quite familiar with this, but in this world, we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. 
But in the part of us living, a lot of stuff happens. Many mishappenings, accidents, and um, there's a lot of stress in the life. And in the part of learning, we learn from a lot of our failures, our mistakes, exactly. and we also learn from other people. So in life, you can't really commit all the mistakes in order for you to learn. So what you're doing is contributing to the community so that people can learn off of each other and find strength and wisdom, uh, you know, to move on with life. Now, you are dealing with women there, Shalene. Do you find that some people find it difficult to talk about themselves in order to bring out their story? Uh, that's a great question, Pospa. Yes. Um, well, so far, we've done a, quite a few interviews, but I can tell you the people actually approached is maybe three times or five times more than the interview we actually produced. And um, I did um, come across women who, um, who very kindly um, kind of took the invitation, but then I turned around and say, oh, I don't think I'm that inspirational. But even from a small episode I know from their life, they have achieving amazing things, just say, even, you know, raising a difficult child or come through, a, you know, a marriage failures and things like that they all walked in their miles big time in their own life but again i think this might be i don't want to jump into conclusion but that might be uh, comparing things and thinking people who actually showing themselves in blog and sharing their story have to be celebrities have to be people who actually achieved a great deal um no it's necessary not necessary at all Great stuff. Well, obviously, yes, yeah, some people don't value what they have to say because they think they're not important enough. Do you think that has a lot to do with our upbringing in as much as we are constantly being told we're not worth much and that, you know, suppresses people and they don't show what their actual way um, of life is? Uh, I think that that can be a factor. There are lots of, that's a lot multi-factor in there um, for sure. But I can see, especially because I'm from the Asian community and, um, you know, for my convenience, I have lots of Asian friends, auntie, uncle and, you know, colleagues and stuff. I approach them and I would, I would say a lot of them actually quite shy and um, not really feeling comfortable of sharing their personal life. Um, details and stuff they try to be a little bit um, you know reserved or you know conservative and um, again I think it's also to do what kind of industry they are for job say teachers or maybe lawyers and they kind of mm, I'm saying the one I have approached okay there are lots of might not be the case they kind of be more more conservative well, people in the entertaining industry, well, you know, because I'm, I'm doing part-time modeling as well with models and actresses and people actually doing a blog themselves or other creative things, they're more happy and open to contribute. Understandable. So obviously there's a lot of people that are really scared and shy, like you said. What is the actual power of putting your story out there? What sort of impact can that have on the person that's reading that story or somebody who might be going through uh, any of the things that, um, you know, the women are speaking on your blog there. Yeah. So one lady I interviewed, um, I wouldn't say her name, she's from my work and she revealed some deeply, deeply, it's kind of a personality, um, uh, you know, struggling. She has been gone through the years, you know, one side of her acting this way, the other side of her acting the other way. There's a constant um, uh, self conflict happening so pulling her from different directions and um that explained a lot of things she's gone through in life but then her mom who read the interview was actually writing me a personal message that thank you so much for sharing because even her mom didn't really know this you know she's been going through so much you know self conflict and things and made her know her daughter much better and her mom ended up become our participant as well so to me, it's a venue for us to deeply open up and share some aspects that um, people maybe around us wouldn't even know. Understandable, because right now, obviously, a lot of people are coming to the internet to get information. Mm -hmm. And with the way 
our society is sort of built up. You are at least lucky you've got relatives that you can reach out to. Some people don't have that connection, um, you know, so that they can speak to uh, somebody in relation to, you know, what they might be going through. So I really applaud you for bringing out, um, you know, this, uh, mag, um, you know, blog that is helping people. And like you've said, reconnected a mother and a daughter, um, you know, that could have not been possible um, because of your work then. So what is the future of Hairway? Where can we see, um, you know, this blog taking us and if people are going to be following you through, what are they going to expect to see from you? So that was another great one. We're still in a very early stage, to be honest, because we just um, established in July this year. So our future vision is to, um, of course, we're going to continue in our interviews with women from all walks of life and we like to have women from different career background different upbringing different um you know cultural background and um another future vision for us is to actually organize some events so we were thinking about organizing a non-for-profit event so we can pair up with fem international or um, cancer breast cancer research so we can invite our our, our participant who actually has expertise. So, so far we have ladies who are doing the physical training, personal training industry, or in the um, modeling industry, or in the, um, say, skincare, organic skincare makers and stuff. We can invite these people who carry their different expertise to actually walk in the event in real life and deliver a session, say 45 minutes for each person and actually give our audience, we can invite our audience to our events and, um, you know, with the cost we'll be contributing to the um, 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 FEM International other kind of organization. Wow, this yeah. really sounds all future vision. Ex yeah. Exactly. This really sounds all exciting because what you've created here is a hub where uh, women can actually come and be free and inspire others while also getting inspiration and empowering other people to be, do, and have a happier existence. Now, if people really want to jump on board, either maybe for an interview or maybe um, as, as, a, as a way of participating or being part of your uh, movement of her way, how can people get a hold of you there, Shabin? Very simple. So our website is www.herways.org. So if you can jump on our, on our website, you can browse through the interview we've done and there is a contact section which you can send us email, which is herwayhersay at gmail.com. Get in contact and we'll get, where we will get in contact with you. Absolutely. Well, this interview alone has been empowering, Shalene, and I really would like to thank you so much. Um, I know you've got better things you could have been doing, but you spend the time with us here. So if you're watching this show right now, you would appreciate that we have experts like Charlene that just come around here. They're going out of their way to empower other women to be, do, and have either a business that's profitable and enjoyable or also a happier existence. So if you want to be uh, on board with what Charlene is doing, I'm going to be putting in all the details of her um, uh, website uh, so that you can also join through or if you've got any contribution that you want to put through either as a uh, as a guest interviewee Sorry. or somebody yeah she is more than happy uh, to, yeah. to yeah to have you on there and and um, you know enjoy her profile there I can so see a lot of things coming out of this platform I can see books being written as a combination of all these interviews that have been done I can see exactly the, I can see video series coming out of this. I can see mobile apps that people can just tap into and, um, you know, have a quick see as, as for quick inspiration because the world right now is so stressful and is very depressing for a lot of people. So we need people like Charlene that will keep lighting up the fire for a lot of people there. Charlene, I can't thank you enough for your time on this episode today. Thank you. It's been such a pleasure talking to you and so easy going. And yeah, thank you for sharing the love. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay.